then. So, um, I'm busy doing stuff. It's first thing in the morning. And I thought, put that shit away. Um, I thought this would be a good format to do. Um, what is it? Oh, the questions and answers thingy. So what I'm going to do is every day, hopefully, unless I'm doing something, um, every day I will do a video or two um, as well as the other videos. So nothing's going to really, it's not really going to interrupt the progress of things or other videos that I've got planned. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, the questions. So these I've I've got nearly all of them. They keep they keep on coming, but I'm I'm just randomly plucking a few and then crossing them off. So this is a guy from a guy called Scott. I won't mention people's last names or anything just in case I ain't asked, but I won't mention them. You'll know it's your question. And if you want to scream in the comments, that was me who asked that answer, asked that question, then that's on you. You get what I mean? It's just politeness or whatever. So I'll still mention people. Blah, 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 blah. So he says, um, I've said that you've done a video about general questions, so here is mine. Why would any engine have skinny piston rings, top slash bottom gauge? I own two stroke crossers in the past and it's common for the rings to break under pressure so why wouldn't they just make them stronger? Hope that makes sense and I'll hopefully see you in a bit. I'll see a video in a bit. Well you are going to see a video in a bit. So the reason why, um, without going into, I want to do some videos about all of this but a very in-depth version. If we just master of tilt. Oh yeah, the other thing as well is while I'm doing all this glass fibre shit, I forgot my uh, arbitrary cap. Well, I won't put that on yet. That's a ceremonious thing for doing um, fiberglass. Everyone knows that. But in your hood, um, so the reason is, is that uh, it's all to do with forces as usual. Um, so a ring, a big thick ring in cross section and a skinnier ring in cross section. Um, this obviously has more mass and it's when the piston ring, it's when the piston goes to the top and the bottom, but more, we're more interested in the top really. Um, when it goes to the top, or not more interested, just think of it going to the top. When it goes to the top, the piston goes to the top and it stops and it pulls back down again. And that is the point of maximum acceleration for the piston assembly which includes the rings so basically the piston is going up so the piston is being pushed up by um, the in a sense by the crank and the piston ring that's a bad example isn't it why have I done it that far for fuck's sake Jesus Christ where's that stuff there we go Fuck off now. Let's try that one again. So, um, ugh, that's all wet now. That's what she said. That's what I said. So, you'll have a piston ring like this. And the piston's on its way up. Because your groove is wider than your ring. It's shoved across the bottom. So the piston is basically carrying the ring with it. When you get to the top of your stroke, the piston abruptly stops, well abruptly, but the piston stops and the ring continues to move because of inertia. And then the ring slams in to the top of the uh, piston groove there. And then the whole thing repeats. It just it repeats, it just goes the other way. So it slams into the roof there like that and then it carries down but this force of this stopping still and that going slam into it 
you do this fast enough and what can happen is is that the ring starts to get this oscillation going and she starts to warp and bend and blah 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 and the mass of the ring so the mass of this ring is proportional to the frequency um, of what we call flutter that's when the ring starts to basically without going into too much detail just for this simple video uh, it starts to dance around and start to be a prick it starts to get a resonance it starts like a tuning fork in a sense but with a bit of a Z moment and it, yeah blah 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 but basically the mass is related to the frequency at which it resonates at and it can cause rings to snap and stuff not only that is it's also something else you have to shift you know what I mean um, so blah and blah and blah and blah and there is also the friction now the coefficient of friction people are going to start moaning it's not about that what it's about is a thicker ring will have a larger surface area but a thicker a thicker ring has more inherent tension in the in the the spring back in the actual ring so it apply, applies a higher preload generally if you have a thinner spring a thinner piston ring it's like a, a thinner gauge wire spring there's less spring there eh so there's a tiny tiny friction gain by using a lighter a lighter weight piston ring the fact of the matter is is that if you have a lighter weight piston ring it has a smaller cross sectional area which actually means that your heat flux through this ring is actually lower isn't a brilliant thing but because of this flutter malarkey which usually causes rings to break you actually want a lighter a lighter ring than you want a heavier one so the main reason is to stop it dancing around doing this flutter bullshit which usually causes the rings to die prematurely by snapping if you ever look at a ring it'll snap in its groove so you'll have a ring you have a ring groove like this and then you'll have um, the ring and it's just cracked like this all right it's just cracked now I will get a piece of two pieces of wood make a ring groove and then get a piece of wood in there and I want you to snap it <laughs> like that without because you can't bend it it's not like it's digging in anywhere it's just broken it's cracked and that's because of this resonance the ring is fucking doing this and it's whipping and it's doing all this kind of shit and twisting it's doing all these fucking horrible things there'll be a weak spot somewhere it starts to propagate a crack and you're fucked it's done it's basically cracking through vibration in a sense if you want to think about it like that hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit